why does FDI target the most fundamental aspect of nutrient deficiency? It's about uh, Cambodian after you visit several days. Uh, I think firstly, Cambodian people are extremely nice. Um, they are also polite and so kind and they always help me with because of my leg. Um, and yeah, just the hospitality is I think the first thing I realised about Cambodia. A lot of people in Malaysia, I mean they're nice but I feel like um, maybe they won't be as hospitable. Okay, so back to the program. Actually, uh, just only this year that you joined the Asian uh, Youth yeah. Debate yeah. and a lot of potential uh, candidates from each country. How do you think about them? Um, I think firstly, um, in terms of the ASEAN Youth Debate, it took a bit of getting used to because we aren't familiar with this format of debating. Um, so that firstly took a bit of adapting and improvising. Um, other countries, like you know, from the first round, I think we went up against three Cambodian teams so far um, and everyone has been excellent and amazing and I really see like there's so much of potential for growth and you know just exchanging information and opinions through debating um, I really think that that's quite impressive and I'm really impressed with just the organization of the program itself to get so many countries involved and you know to I feel debating is a important thing and I feel um, people should definitely be involved in it so it's really nice uh, <laughs> It's really nice seeing people being actively involved, especially from Asia. Um, we don't see a lot of representation when it comes to debating in Asia. So it's really nice that ASEAN themselves um, are organizing something that can involve the youth, especially in debating. Okay, so how this debate can have a lot of use, like Asian youth? I think firstly is definitely awareness. Debate makes you read, so you have to read a lot more. You have to study the topic that you're going to uh, debate about. Um, and while we're studying, we can definitely see a lot of statistics that show, you know, in terms of poverty, in terms of development, in terms of what people need um, and what people need to do in order to make their country and, you know, just people around them better. Um, I think that's firstly very important because I think in terms of the youth, a lot of people think the youth don't care um, and that we just want to do our own thing and we want to, you know, play games or whatever. Um, but I don't think that that's right. I think uh, most of the passion that I see um, when it comes to changing um, the way things work, making things better has definitely been from the youth. Um, the second thing debate I think helps with is definitely making friends. Like the, we met so many people and have been friends with so many people just through debating. And it's even better because it's from different countries. And I feel debating is one of the only chances that we have to you know, exchange that culture, exchange that opinion find out about how people live in different countries you know i feel like that's something i find very interesting and i find quite unique through debating okay yeah. so actually we don't compete but we try to complete each other even though in the asia uh, as in this debate we try we compete we have a champion actually but so how can it complete each other in terms of debate and uh, make a friends besides just only the debate yeah um in terms of completing each other, I think when we are debating itself, it's definitely something that's very intense and emotional, especially in the finals yesterday. Um, I think it was quite intense, like uh, people were getting quite angry and yeah. you know quite frustrated. I mean, that's normal in debating. But I feel like what completes each other is still having that degree of respect. Like everything that happens within the debate is still in the debate that we can leave the round, talk about it, laugh about it. And you know, we can also make people watch and realize that um, even though we are passionate and emotional about debating, it's still um, important to have that respect towards the people you're debating against. Because like both of us made it to the finals, no one's like better than the other, right? It all comes down to the judges at the end of the day. Um, so I think that I really respect the Cambodian team and I really enjoy spending time with them because they're really nice. Um, and yeah, I think in terms of completing each other, I think respect is what completes the so two teams. So we are champions. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> champions. Yeah. So one word about Cambodian after you spend a lot of day in Cambodia. One word. One word? Yes. Hospitality. It's really the, the probably the best form of hospitality I've received. Maybe because I am um, a bit injured, so people are being extra nice to me. Um, but it really, people are so nice here. Um, shout out to Miss Linda as well because she has been excellent and amazing. She took this wheelchair from her grandmother's place and really I I feel if like it was in Malaysia, like just getting a wheelchair would be so difficult already. But Cambodia, well, since the airport up until the event now, I have like, I don't have to risk my leg. I don't have to walk a lot. I'm just on the wheelchair and I think 
even though it might sound a bit lazy, I feel like just hospitality and the kindness that I've seen from Cambodian people really touches me and moves me. Yep.